This episode of the Cloud Accounting Podcast is sponsored by Elephant. As a listener of this show, I'm pretty sure you've already embraced technology and practice efficiencies, but sometimes it's hard to find training in those areas. Some of you look to your state societies to get CPE credit, but those tend to be tax or audit focused and quite frankly, from what I've heard, pretty boring. Thankfully, our friends at Elephant have created education for tech-savvy accountants and bookkeepers like yourself. They offer training on platforms like Xero, QuickBooks, and Zapier, webinars on topics like cryptocurrency and firm marketing, have all-star instructors who not only understand technology, but are using it to run their own practices. And just for you, Elephant is a special offer for Cloud Accounting Podcast listeners. Visit elephanttraining.com slash CAP. That's E-L-E-F-A-N-T training.com slash CAP to receive 50% off your first webinar. Again, that's elephanttraining.com slash CAP for 50% off your first webinar. Elephant, building better practices one bite at a time. Welcome to the Cloud Accounting Podcast. I'm Blake Oliver. And I'm David Leary. And we are recording live today at QuickBooks Connect Day 2, the main day, the main event. I think, Blake, your voice is in much better shape than mine at this point. No, no. Are you, can you <laughs> so hear me? Much I'm, talking. I'm all raspy. Uh, no. by, by the way, David, did you eat your sardines this morning? I ate my sardines. You, you have to bring your own protein because you get here and the, you're talking to so many people, then you miss eating. So you have to bring your own protein to survive. Okay. I understand protein, but why, why sardines? And where did they, this come from? They travel. They travel. They actually came from Tim Ferriss. <laughs> Tim so Ferriss? Tim, Tim Ferriss, is, this was his thing. And you start eating them, they travel well. Put them in your backpack, you take them with you. Um, and I've met four people at the conference that are fully in support of my eat sardines when you go to a conference. So, so the reason I asked is because before the conference, you put out a post where you said, uh, these are the five things that you need to do yeah. to survive a conference. And uh, the one, I, I'm not quite on board with the sardines, but I do agree with your tip to drink lots of tea with honey. And lemon water, yes. And lemon water. Because yeah. coffee dehydrates and I've been doing lose that. your voice. So that's good. Uh, yes, day two. It's um, I think until people come here, if you're listening, you've never been here. Like it's super exhausting. There's such a big conference, but it's also just amazing to meet. Even for us, uh, the first night, we've met so many people that listen to the podcast and came to Crypto Connect that Blake and I, neither of us, I knew. So it's just <laughs> if you really get connected with people like yeah, Crypto uh, Connect, great. everybody is here. How many, there 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 are two Sorry. exhibit halls. I've never been to a conference with two expo halls. Uh, how many how many exhibitors are there? David? I think I, I counted as one hundred seven. One hundred seven. No, 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 no. Sorry. Yeah, it's one hundred seven because I think it's like ninety seven. Then the app showdown wow. final, the finals for app showdown is another ten or something. It's like one hundred seven. And attendees, it's thousands, right? Yeah, I think yesterday for the accountants it was close to twenty seven hundred or something like that. And then they filled the rest in with uh, small business and entrepreneurs today, so it's just completely packed. The well, whole that, it's it's been amazing. Definitely check it out. Come next year if you haven't been. And uh, J Lo's here, I heard. I heard somebody say they saw J Lo on a golf cart. And A Rod. Well, yeah, but I'm sure it's A Rod if they want to see J Lo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about uh, the takeaways from this morning's keynote address. What, what's, what's first? So, Brad Smith came out and opened this morning. Um, I think the news there is uh, Brad really reflected back on the last four or five uh, Creepers Connects. Talked about little moments, talked about moments of connections and the support and how we're all packed together. And Brad, you know, went on to be really genuine. He almost cried for a second, right? Yeah. Um, Because this is his last QB Connect. And Brad was a little emotional about it. And and people really, like, gave him standing ovation. People loved having him here. It was a really heartfelt speech. And he didn't didn't really cover a lot of, like, technical things. It was really an emotional thank you. This is an amazing journey type of a speech. I thought yeah. it was really heartfelt. I was really excited because I've never met him before and I got to meet Brad Smith. Uh-huh. Um, you and I have talked about this before on the podcast that he really has done something almost unique in the U.S. tech world in turning a, such a large company as Intuit around so quickly from being desktop centric, QuickBooks desktop heavy, to really an online platform. Yeah, I, I think it's one of those history book stories. Like, yeah. like people are going to look it back at business school and be like, wow, how did Intuit do it? Because if you would have bet a decade ago if Intuit could do it, yeah. it was safe for money to say, no way. No, I, I didn't think so. Yeah. I, I have completely come around. It's incredible what has happened in the last few years. Yeah. So, it's testament you. to Brad. Thank There's you, Brad definitely. Smith. We'll miss you. Absolutely. But he's not going anywhere. He's going to still be the chair of the board, right? I or think so, yeah. Board, he yeah. Just, I think he just doesn't have to do, be here every day. So after Brad said his uh, uh, tearful goodbye, uh, Sasan Gadarzi came on stage, and he had a bunch of announcements about and, the product. Yeah, and Sasan's going to be the new CEO. Yes. He's going to replace Brad. And so Sasan really had all the work to do. 
So, so he <laughs> talked about all the new features of QuickBooks. Um, I think there was like three big high level things. It was like smart money, smart decisions, and smart connections. So, so tell, tell, tell me about smart money. Smart money, I, I think the word, the word in general at QuickBooks Connect uh, is instant. Like we've moved from, hey, automated data moving into things to instant. So uh, they talk about instant deposits. Mm -hmm. So if your customers owe you money, you can actually get that deposit in your bank account instantly. Now, I think there was a fee I saw in the little, the animation, there was a 1% fee maybe. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, so well, you're talking about the, uh, basically it's invoice factoring, yes. right? With the yeah. QuickBooks payments. So with the invoice factoring, um, you know, he, he showed how you could take like $10,000 of invoices and have that money deposited in your account in 30 minutes. Yeah. And then Intuit collects on that. Yeah, and I don't know, uh, obviously maybe Intuit's uh, floating this or playing the bank yeah. in between to, to eliminate those ACH delays. But it's instantaneous because that small business problem. It's all about getting that cash, yep. right? Um, and the same thing has been extended now. Uh, they're going to do next day and same day payroll. That's, so if you have to pay really a subcontractor, cool. if you have to pay your employees, you can pay them the same day yep. instantly. Um, and then I was confused, but they said saves like nine thousand dollars a month saved on average. Like, what does that mean? I didn't understand well, that number. So, uh, you know, with with traditional payroll systems, you have at least like a five day lead. So. The money is taken out of your account for payroll, say on uh, Monday, and your employees get paid on Friday. Uh, and so you, you, now you get to keep those funds, that $9,000 on average that people are paying for payroll, all the way until Friday. Because by the time I pay the payroll, I got to spin up the next payroll. And so it's almost like a, uh, uh, an escrow account where I just have $9,000 constantly sitting in there to run payroll. Yeah. Got it, got it, so got it's, it. It's helping you with your cash flow. That's amazing. Um, and then to continue on that, they, they give the same, same day, they're going to give out same day loans. So With QuickBooks Capital. With QuickBooks Capital. So you could apply for a loan in the morning and have the cash in your bank account later that afternoon, which, it, like I said, it's instant. I mean, it's amazing. We moved to one day. It, it's game changing. And you don't have to fill out any special loan paperwork. Intuit has your data in QuickBooks. They can look into your file, determine how credit worthy you are, and give you a loan. And the thing that I really found interesting was the stat that Sasan gave out. He said that 60% of the folks who are using QuickBooks Capital now wouldn't qualify for traditional bank loans. Yeah, that yeah, was on the side. That's really yeah. impressive. But, and then that's the, the problem. And I feel like I'm even, you know, I'm kind of in small business one-on-one pain. And even just getting a credit card is hard. Like, it's just, yep. it's not easy for small businesses to do these things. And the fact that, like, Intuit's coming in and, like, they're really taking into its financial structure and money and really supporting small business. Yep. So uh, that's smart money, payments, same day payroll, QuickBooks Capital. Moving on, smart decisions was the next category. Yep. Smart decisions. That all, that all revolved around uh, QuickBooks Assistant, which we got a preview of last year. Yes. So, so Sun had a QuickBooks Assistant. If you guys, it's like a chat bot built into QuickBooks. So you can ask it questions, right? Like, what were my, how many shoes did I sell? What were my sales last week? And he demoed it last year and it was a little rougher. Like, you know, I had to restart the phone in the middle of the demo, but this year is a lot tighter. But over this last year, I think the impressive part of that is QuickBooks users have asked the, um, it's called Hey QB, or is it QB? Uh, I don't recall. I don't remember the name of it. Yeah. Uh, it's the QB assistant, it's built in. Um, and you can use your voice to ask questions. And apparently over the last year, 1.5 million questions were asked last year. Wow. Uh, and the number one question, which totally makes sense, who owes me money? Yeah, that's what business owners care about. Uh, the second one was how much uh, money am I making, right? Profit. A future profit. Yep. And, and actually, uh, Sasan did a live demo of the QuickBooks Assistant, which is gutsy when you're talking about voice recognition on stage at a conference. And it worked. Uh, and I thought it was really neat when he asked, how much money am I going to make uh, by the end of the year? The, the assistant actually was able to do a profit projection. And it was after taxes, which was after even more amazing. Yeah, I was like, how, how did you do? I don't know. I, that, I was like, I even made a note to myself, after taxes projection. Wow, <laughs> like, cool. that was really cool. And it's um, and I think the theme there from that was everybody keep asking questions, yeah. and we're gonna figure out what we have to build. We didn't know we had to build an answer to, who, or he said basically they didn't know they had to build an answer to who owes him money or who yeah. owes me money until enough people asked that question. So, the more questions they get asked to the QB assistant, the more answers there'll be. So what I, what I found interesting was, you know, this year, looking back on yesterday and today, was, you know, when, when you actually look at the features that are being developed right now at Intuit, it seems like a lot of them uh, this year are focused on the business owners, not so much the accountants, 
right? So last, yesterday we had project profitability. Uh, that's that's a big one for the the business owners. Um, I mean, there was the statement auto import and email to work type features for the accounts, but you know, hey, we can live without those. Um, this one, in terms of the, the the payments and the same day payroll and the capital, it all seems to be really focused on cash flow. And small business pains. I mean, yeah. it's their number one small business pain is that cash flow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, that's it for the features uh, this year. But there was also uh, one last uh, uh, bit at the uh, keynote, which was they announced the App Showdown winner. Yes, the App Showdown. So last for, night, wait for those who don't oh, know, yeah. what is the App? Oh, Showdown. App Showdown. So the App Showdown is uh, the Intuit Developer Team puts on the App Showdown. So there's lots and lots of apps that integrate with QuickBooks. 600apps.com. Every year, more and more integrate. There's thousands that actually just integrate integrate with QuickBooks Online. And this is an opportunity for the newest apps, the top newest apps that have only published in the last 365 days to um, get an equal foothold in the market, right? So what we do is we, uh, it's almost like a Shark Tank type experience. They, over the year, they compete, they get public uh, voting phases, they are rated on a couple different things. And then the top finalists, the Intuit team, developer team, brings them to QuickBooks Connect. They all get a booth, which is just a victory on its own. Mm -hmm. Then, last night, they get to pitch in front of a panel of judges for $100,000. So these guys were pretty nerve-wracked last night going into this. <laughs> it's fun to watch. It, 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 it's fun to watch because um, it's like the most important three minutes of their life. And who were the judges? It was like Jeannie Whitehouse. Jeannie Whitehouse, Clayton, Clayton Oates, and um, Hugh Molitsky. Uh, Hugh Molitsky. <laughs> I cannot pronounce words right now at this point. He's a former Intuit person who Got was it. Intuit for about 22 years and he has his own startup now. And it's an all-star panel of judges. And then the next day, so these people pitch, they have to wait all night to announce a winner the next day. Yeah. And the winner was Give. It's Give with a one, G-1-V-E. And you can find them on apps.com. So and they won $100,000. $100,000. Cool. And I'm going to read right from the description just because... I won't be able to do it if I don't read it. So, Give makes it easy and rewarding to give to charities. You strengthen your brand and reach new customers. Customers want to know and support businesses who give. Give is the charity portfolio manager and marketing evangelist. So it's a play where you can um, right set up donations, and you on your as your own business you can donate money, and this allows your customers to take advantage of market opportunities that you put out their marketing promotions, and then. Parts of those promotions as like kind of getting a customer match on your donations. So basically, like let's say uh, I Blake make custom widgets when I'm selling, I can say I donate one percent of all of my revenue, all of my sales to charity. And so when you buy from me, you are giving to charity. That makes customers feel good. Lets you as a business owner get a nice deduction. Yep. And they keep track of it all. And the nice thing is, it's all integrated with QuickBooks Online. So donating. And getting that tracked properly for taxes is a little bit difficult. Yeah. And it gives peace of mind. So now the accountant can help a small business owner donate and give back. And it's all set up and tracked properly. And the small business owner doesn't have any work. And the accountant has the, doesn't have any work, which is amazing. Really cool. um, it'd be wow. nice to see if accountants do this. Like accountants could use give and like, hey, um, if you come give me your uh, bookkeeping work. We, no, we don't there's a portion charity. We don't take charity. That's exactly. Right. Well, huh. that's all I've got from day two of QuickBooks Connect. It's time to go see the celebrities, right? Somebody, so who's your favorite celebrity? Who, who are you looking forward to see? I mean, A-Rod, right? A-Rod? Wait, who else is here? Uh, Mindy um, from The Office. Mindy, uh, Kay Kaylee. Kaylee. Yeah. Kaylee. And apparently, like, she's a big deal. Like, she was a producer on there. Oh, yeah. She was a writer. Uh, a writer on there. She, yeah. She's got, yeah, uh, she was a writer on Saturday Night Live maybe as well. She so she's, like, show. a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she's a... She's, she's a, a power player uh, of this, but I heard that I said Jayla was here. I forgot the other two who, people that are here. I guess we'll find out though. We're gonna head over to the celebrities. Um, oh, Blake and David will be there. Oh yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> be the way to go. So that's day two, and we'll probably check back in on day three because I think there's another accountant closing talk tomorrow. Oh, okay. So we'll check in there. All right, everybody. See you around. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.